Hey guys, and she's back. <laughs> anyway, I kind of want to share about the dating app I started using last year. I think about a year ago, except yeah, July. So it all started when I'd noticed many people here, other black women my age, say in their 20s, early 20s, when yeah, early 20s, yeah, I'd say early 20s, still 30s or something. A lot of people use this dating app, it's called Badu. And this is now, say, a couple of months after uh, my last relationship had just ended. And a couple of friends thought it was a, would be a good idea if I get on this app and maybe I'd, I'd feel better. I don't know. So I don't think, like, these, um, what can I say? Rebounds. I don't believe in rebounds. Like, that's a human being. Like, respect them. <laughs> Take care of how they feel and everything. So before this, I'd actually been on Tinder before. And majority of people on Tinder, you, you know what they want. Yeah. Yeah. We all know what they want. Anyway, <laughs> it's all about a quick fix and everything. Anyway, but I was kind of curious about what this app would do because it's different. I mean, different name, I guess, and my friends want it and friends that are a bit more mature and what can I say? Yeah, mature even in the mind had it. So I thought maybe, hmm, maybe if she's using it, then maybe, maybe. Technically, it's not a basic dating app like Tinder. It's more like a, a social network, people that want to date and also be friends that like you can actually make friends on by doing instead of like dating and hooking up and stuff like that which is a change and you know to be honest i was super skeptical about this but i was actually able to become friends with someone through the app the good thing about Badu is that you have like a, a wider selection and it's not so much like how tinder you view one at a time and like swipe left swipe left like you're not interested yeah though you do have the options to view people this way so yes yeah, it's, it's a different view i guess i'll try and have like a a video clip to kind of give you an idea what it's like when you start off with and you have these um like recently i just got on the app to see what it's like before making this video and i saw that it gave me different options like i could now as a new feature or something whether you skip these basic small talk kind of questions which is like fantastic because yeah small talk is like ugh, so uncomfortable man <laughs> yeah so i thought oh but it is changing so maybe i'll give you an idea of what it looks like on Badu, you get a couple of short messages and many likes as well. Like, and anyway, like in the first day I got it, within the first 30 minutes, it had like about 200 likes or something, or like 199, I think maybe also. I don't know what the max is. Anyway, it was something 999. And I thought, hey, like it was a massive confidence boost considering I just got out of a breakup. Okay, not, not, yeah, it was recent. Like maybe, I don't know, three months prior or something. So yeah, it was a massive pick me up. And you know how sometimes after a breakup, we all need these kinds of things. It actually really helps. Like, us, and yeah, I was just like, hey, still got it. Uh huh. And like I said, some people were like genuine and nice, I guess. Because I did actually reply to some people. I think I replied to most. Yeah, I did reply to most. Some uh, genuine people you kind of get to know. The basic small talk questions, which I can imagine if you're similar to me, like an introvert or whatever, it's, it's work. It is. I, I wouldn't even lie. It's work. Like these basic, basic questions. Like, how are you doing? How is your day? Uh, where do you live? Uh, are you studying? Or are you working? It's a bit like like ask me these harder, harder questions. Like that. That's that's what works for me at least. Like these hard, real life, real shit kind of questions. Yeah, that just hits the spot for me at least. Anyway, I'm giving tips for you guys out there who are interested. Being my own pimp right now. God, this is so shady. Embarrassing. I should be embarrassed. But what else? <laughs> so remember how I said some people are there and they are innocent and everything. There are those that are a bit like, what? For example, not just what, but like, uh, okay. And then there are others. Like, I cannot count. A number of times I've been sent dick pics. And I really wonder, like, like who? Are there females out there that like this kind of stuff? Because I just don't. Like, you're only getting to know me, you don't even know my middle name or... I don't know, like, it's within the first, say, five messages back and forth. And this person isn't even suggestive. So the whole time I'm thinking, oh, seems like a nice guy, as can you talking? Then they send all these images. And normally when you send an image, sometimes you can send it so the person that receives it has to, like... Like, I think you wipe the screen or something. You swipe the screen to see what's in the image. Anyway, like to unveil it or something. So yeah, that happened a few times. Well, at least it happened once or twice. Yeah, it happened once, and that time I was a bit like, nope, 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 nope. By the way, anyway, if I get, if I receive something like that, like, like it's over, it's over. So I just deleted and blocked the person. I was just like, God, this is just so weird. I think the next day that happened again, and this time it was like a surprise. We were just kind of talking, and then, pop, dick pic. I was like, honestly, 
I don't know how these guys think these things will work. If you're the kind of person that likes this kind of stuff, yeah, I guess good for you, I guess. But I think it's, it's very rare. Anyway, I'm just stating my opinion. Like, if you like the kind of thing, like, good for you. Yeah, I guess it works on some women, but yeah, it's just not for me at all. At all. Ugh. By the way, while on the app, there was this guy, married guy, by the way. It was, even in his profile, his, um, you can show your relationship status or what you're looking for or something like that. And instead of having single, I think he had, um, his was married. Yeah, it showed married. Then I was asking him, like, how come you're talking to me yet it shows that you're married? Then he's like, um, you know, I've been having hard, hard issues, hard times with my wife, and I kind of just want to experiment and just see what's out there, blah, blah, blah. And at that point, I was kind of like, whoa. Yeah, no, no thanks. That's just not for me. I did politely tell him, like, I guess I'm flattered that you're interested. At the same time, I'm, in my head, I'm like, I am a bit offended. Like, do I look like, okay, I don't know if you have to look like something. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I was just like, okay, uh, yeah, thanks for the compliments and everything and for all of this flattery and stuff, but this just isn't for me. And hope you guys work through what you're going through. Talk to her, maybe see a therapist, psychologist, I don't know. But yeah, all the best to you, but this is just not for me. Yeah, and he understood and everything, and he, he wished me well as well, and he, it was over. Then I blocked him. I actually did go on some dates with some of the guys I met through the app. There was this guy, B, who kind of reminded me of like um, one of those guy friends you have in high school. Like, you talk about anything and everything. But it wasn't really like a romantic kind of thing and flirting. It was more so like, like, you're a really good friend. Like, completely innocent friend stuff. That was nice. Then there was M. M as well was a gentleman. And at the time, I couldn't tell whether he was interested in um, possibly getting into a relationship with someone that he met through the app. But I think at the time, he said something about, like, getting to know people or something. And I thought the same. Like, I don't I don't believe in getting on an app to get into a relationship. At the same time, God does amazing things and anything can happen. So I don't like to, like, say it cannot be done. Maybe. I did know someone who was in a very good relationship someone she met on a dating app. Actually, it was Tinder. It was Tinder. I just, personally, I just don't think these things work. And with this guy, M, he's pretty nice, quite a gentleman, and we actually continued talking up until some point in this year, maybe Feb. Fortunately, we never met. Eh! And then there was C. Man, this guy. This is a Danish guy, by the way. And at the time I was 24, this guy was 35. 